Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the MSM Extended Q build for a Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, it's been long I have reviewed a custom ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro or any of the other devices and also Android Q is now much more stable than before the custom ROMs. So now decided to review a ROM and yep, this one is the most stable custom ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro currently. This is the extended MSM extended uh, 3.0 I guess and this is the most stable custom ROM as you can see into Android version. Uh, you can go in like you can see this logo again Android 10 Google Play System 10 and kernel is 4.4.198 tagged extended plus kernel. So guys let's start with the device features, bugs and what's working and what's not. So almost everything is working in the ROM like for what I have tested like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio and everything is working. So it's a very very stable ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro or the AI. But I haven't tested the screen cache. like many of the people use screen cache to cache the content from the phone to uh, their TVs. So I haven't tested that and like it could have been broken because it's just the initial phase for Android Q. But yeah, you can like always check for it if it works, if you have a device available. I don't have a device like I have a device, but it's like currently it's not available to test. So yeah, I cannot test it. But yeah, regarding uh, uh, the stability, it's really awesome. And let's move towards the features now. Okay, guys, now moving towards the features, we have this extensions uh, customization tab. And first we got here is a buttons option. And you can see only volume lock rockers the customization has been present so this is what we get then into decor room we have ambient display animations battery styles clock settings let's just uh, quickly take a brief look at it and you can see uh, everything uh, whatever you want is present animations is also present and also the screen of animation which I have set the uh, CRD which is like the TV the old TVs and uh, okay yeah my like my hands are sweaty so the fingerprint is not getting unlocked quickly also quick settings battery style i don't know what's that but yeah there is no battery style okay so quick settings battery style is this i guess so yeah it is also working fine as you can see enabled and uh, uh, status by battery is circle so it is circle i don't know if this is same and there is nothing in the quick settings so yeah uh, status by battery uh, style is enabled and it's inside the icon so it works fine and this is in like just a few of the roms like not every rom has this feature then clock settings we also have clock styles and that is really important so as you can see clock style left and then clock font style normal and all going to carrier label settings we have the carrier label so you can define it if you want gestures we have the asp gestures the normal one and then yeah the screen of power more button touch and swipe to screenshot and other stuff and lock screen we have all of the lock screen uh, customization stuff as you can see i have customized my lock screen and this is how it looks and this is the road rage font which looks really nice also weather service has been enabled in the lock screen so yeah this is also plus point of this rom and you can just customize it to the great extent navbar has navbar tumor uh, tuner sorry and notifications we get this in the notifications also notifications and lights and battery charging light works perfectly fine power menu we have this power menu and power i don't know why but power was disabled by default but yeah i thought like there is something mess up but yeah then i enabled it then quick settings we have this features uh, quick setting styles is not available yet but yeah a lot of cool functions are available status bar settings we have a lot of stuff Volte icon also as you can see this is a really different and unique Volte icon also it's a short so yeah it does not take a lot of status bar space and yeah you have the bluetooth battery status and breathing uh, sms and notifications and that all and system settings and we have this wake clock block alarm blocker and every other dual settings and sensor blocker per page yeah some battery saving stuff then extra options we get the signature spoofing, charging animation, wake up and charge and all that. Also you can disable the da uh, dashboard conditions and suggestions so you cannot like you if you like a clean settings or the clean dashboard whatever we call it. And yep that's it for the uh, X uh, tensions and when we go into display we get the styles and wallpapers but that is that different app by Google. Now if you want to change uh, accent color in a lot of variations you get these variations here as you can see. If you visit the style section, you will just get four to like six to eight, something like that. 
also fonts these fonts are available and later will be added by the source and yes all android q features are available also guys digital developing uh, is there uh, yeah maybe it's because i have the gfs installed but yeah you can also check it and yep yeah, other functions are there you can check into the developer options so yeah that's it for the features about the extended rom also guys the extended rom comes with the miui camera by default and this is working fine on q so yeah everything works fine so there is no uh, need to like just hump and bump here and there about the bugs so yeah a fully working miui camera for android q also pre-built so that's great also guys about the battery backup the battery is really awesome now this is what i got uh, uh, after uh, 27 percent of drainage and 2 hours 56 minutes which is good for my usage and i always expect the battery to last a day or one and a half day and give me at least eight to nine hours of screen on time and this rom promises me to do it also this is the second cycle the first cycle i got eight hours uh, 27 minutes something i had played pubg for two hours and no sorry not two hours like one and one half hour and here i haven't played pubg that much so yeah i expect a lot more improvement and currently minus 22 percent but i was testing rom which i built so yeah there's a gap here which i used like to restore this rom to. so yeah it's not a great battery usage pattern but yeah you can just relate to it so yep that's it for the battery usage thing okay guys one downside i found in this rom is that while playing pubg you can play to low and medium graphics so high graphics is not I don't know why but it's not possible on this ROM but yeah you can like try the new versions if they are out like this is the latest now it's 14 November and this build uh, I don't know if it is like oh wait let me check uh, yeah this may be 10 November or 11 November build but yeah it is working fine absolutely fine just this pubg like if you are a pubg lover then yeah the graphics are not to be at the great requirement they are just on low and medium so yeah you can if you work on it then yep also high graphics settings i don't know how to enable it by some magic module or something but you can always try and ask in the extended group or on the xta thread to do such stuff okay guys now about the flashing process now i don't want to repeat the whole process and just uh, increase the length of the video so i will just give you an easy hint of the instruction in the description down below and also to install android q you have to clean flash android pi also encryption may not work so you have to format data if you have an encrypted uh, device or if you are encryption enabled so yeah that's it just clean flash flash the rom flash the proper g apps which are linked in the xda thread and you are good to go also for magisk you can use the magisk 20.1 version and yeah you are really good to go so yep uh, also yeah magisk uh, cts profile fails but it works like you can just apply the magisk patch for q and it will work so yep that's it uh, if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button also subscribe here's the red button press it and subscribe to my channel and i'll be making a lot of more videos on the redmi note 5 pro and the redmi note 5 and redmi note 10 pro and upcoming devices too so bye bye i'll see you guys in the next one